Meg here from DIY Projects and today we're going to make this fun, bright, colorful Halloween wreath. You're going to need your foam wreath form and then some assorted ribbon and fabrics. Now is a great time to use up any scraps you have. You're going to want to have some straight pins and a pair of scissors. Because this is going to be for Halloween, I pulled in a couple options, a big giant black and white chevron bow then also some cool little glitter spiders. So have fun with it. And remember, if you don't wanna make this for Halloween, just change up the color palette and make it for whatever holiday you want. We're gonna start by focusing on our wreath form. And I just took some extra scraps of fabric that I had and tore it into strips. You're not gonna see that much of it. We're only doing this because as you're applying your ribbon and tying your ribbon on, you'll have some blank spaces on your wreath and you just don't want that to show through. So we're just going to quickly go through and use some straight pins to put this in place. And then we're just going to start wrapping it around. You can also spray paint this if you want ahead of time rather than using fabric. Ooh, look at that, just barely enough. So now that we have all of our fabric wrapping that up, it's time to play with our ribbon. So I just like to pull in some assorted colors and all you have to do is tie a double knot. And then you have some decisions to make. You can either have the knot on top of your wreath or you can also twist it out and have your tails coming off the side. I'm gonna have mine off the top. You can have your wreath as full as you want it. You can have your knots touching and no space in between, or you can do it like I did and have gaps in between. That's why it was so important to cover that styrofoam with that black and white polka dot fabric at the beginning so we're not seeing that white styrofoam show through. For a finishing touch, I'm gonna go with a giant bow and just wrap it around to the back side. I love ribbon projects. I am addicted to buying ribbon. I will be the first to admit it. I cannot pass up a ribbon display without normally buying something. So anytime I can use all the fabulous patterns that I've purchased and kind of hoarded in my craft room closet, then it's just a win for me because then I get to use what I've purchased and I have an excuse to buy more. All right, so there we have it. We have this cute little bow hanging off of there. Remember I said you could also put spiders on there, but that's all there is to making this fabulous wreath. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make it. Again, I'm Meg from DIY Projects. Thanks for watching. For more crafting inspiration, head on over to DIYprojects.com.